holiday season. Yes, right around the corner. Well, it's already here and a lot of people already celebrating. And we want to talk about cocktails and mocktails. One of Canada's top bartenders, Zach Doy here from hey Wizards guys. of the West. And uh, these are some really good options if anyone's hosting yep. this year. And I want to start right here because it's a good old, old fashioned. We've gone big holiday, you yeah. know, and Jack Daniels has given us a really good platform to jump off of. First new release from the product in 150 years big bold rye build mm -hmm. and I think with the rye it gets really spicy and it makes a beautiful old fashioned. Okay. So what I did today is I incorporated some five spice syrup. Okay. It's really easy to make at home. You just take uh, sugar, water, uh, five spices, put them in a pot, simmer, what's and then the just strain what's off. What's the ratio of? Um, I do like a pinch of each one okay. to like maybe if you want to make one little bottle. Okay. Just stir it up with some chocolate bitters today, which is quite nice. And I asked you, where do you get chocolate bitters? There's a great store in Queen and Shaw on the east side, on the okay. west side called BYOB, and they sell bitters, cocktail stuff, all sorts of things. Great thing for the holiday to go to. There it is. Okay, I know, because a lot of people are going to ask about this. Here we go, there it is. I'm gonna spin it around for them. All we right, get so our old fashioned down in the glass. There. So we've got Jack Daniels rye, we've got chocolate bitters, a five mm -hmm. spice syrup, and then of course as an indicator, the cinnamon. A nice little bit of cinnamon for sure. It's it's more for show though, that's not for the taste, right? For show, sure. you, you can even torch it off for a little bit of aromatics, which okay. can I fill the room a little bit. Love it. Do you need me to add anything here? Or oh you no, did we've it? already put it's the done. bitters in it's there. Done. He's oh, so yeah. prepared. <laughs> now this one, and you actually uh, have a pairing as yeah, well. Yeah, so it? um, you know, snacks go with drinks. Yeah. So we did a little charcuterie board with uh, spicy salami, uh, some uh, some crisps, and a little bit of honey. Very nice. Yeah. I want to move over to this one because this is kind of like your desserty. It's the third course. This is, is the entrance saying, right? of the third course, the espresso martini. It has arrived. Yep. Okay. And luckily enough, we have a fantastic boutique gin called Destor from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. And why this gin is really good and why it plays really well with the espresso martini is we have only three botanicals, but done extremely well. Okay. So you've got fennel, coriander, you've got juniper, and the fennel really plays off as a cooling kind of uh, botanical. Gives then it you've something got different. coriander with a little bit of zing. So and while, this guy. Yeah, while you shake it up, the question is I, I said, are martinis supposed to be gin? or vodka and you said could be both could be both but for this one we want depends gin. on the flavors you want and okay. with this one we're lucky enough to have a gin that has really big bold flavors wait how did you do that shaky thing again Ooh. because you have like a twist like are you supposed you to know shake what? it if like if you've danced before you got a little bit of a dance before yeah. for sure your, your shake's gonna have a little bit of a little bit of a salsa flair i don't know what i'm sure. doing oh, so yeah. like okay. you definitely want to have right. the drink spin in the tin a little spin bit around. Yeah. okay good 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 i just embarrassed myself <laughs> no, you um, did great but that's the key to it all right with espresso martini you definitely want to aerate it. You want a lot oh, of yeah. air to go through it and you want it to froth. So when it falls, it cascades really nice and beautifully. Now, this should all be very cold, obviously. Oh, yeah. Right? Well, so you, you can go a little warm first okay. and then a little cold after. It's a nice little dessert. And you're pairing this bad boy with some fruitcake. Yes, fruitcake with marzipan, an instant holiday classic. I picture this cocktail, you're sitting around a fire, you've got ah. the family, you want something just to relax with. Mm -hmm. So you get this, you get a little bit of dessert. A little espresso on, a few on espresso beans. beans. On top. Okay. And do you need cinnamon in this one? No. No, no not to at cinnamon. All. Not at all. Just say no to that one. Yeah. Okay. Now we got to talk uh, mocktails as of well. Of course. And a favorite for a lot of people, of course, is eggnog. Yeah. But you've got a really good option because a lot of people are. Counting the calories yep. when it comes to eggnog. So how do we do this one? Things in Toronto, you know, especially around the world, we want to cater to a lot of different kinds of people. So we did mocktails mm -hmm. or placebo cocktails, yep. if you want to call them. We definitely want don't want people that are drinking mocktails to feel not part of the party. Absolutely not. So we create yeah. beautiful drinks that are garnished gorgeously. And this one in particular takes out egg Kay. and takes out dairy. So we've made a holiday nog that's friendly for everyone. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. All right, so let's So let's we do is we use up. coconut cream, almond milk, and cinnamon syrup. Beauty. Shake it up. Dance, dance, dance. See, you've got this move. I'm going to practice this one. And you want it to be really frothy? Really nice okay. and frothy. All right, so we're going to pour this right. bad boy in. And you want some help. You said you want me to um, yeah, grate let's up some get nutmeg. Some grating going. So the nutmeg adds a little special something, yes? Yes, spice. Okay. A little spice. A nice big How much bold do spice. you want? Let's do like that. Oh yeah, it looks great. Right? It's like Good I've job. done that before, but I've not. And a little cinnamon too. A little bit of cinnamon. Okay. And you want to go? I asked you this end or this end, and you said like yeah. this, right? Side gradient. Okay. Good. And there you have it. Cinnamon spice and everything nice. Something that the whole fit. There goes my finger now. Sorry. Uh, don't drink this one if I were you. Uh, so this is a good one that everyone can enjoy. And if you want all these recipes, go to our website breakfasttelevision.ca. You can also reach you on social media, right? Yeah. Hashtag. Hashtag Wizards of the West. If you want to see anything we're up to. He's here for all of your drinking, mocktails, and cocktail pleasure. All right? We're taking a break here. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I'm going to try this one. Okay. Yeah.